I don't know how much hydrogen we've actually got stored at the minute. We've got 1.3 tons of hydrogen per tile, so we're doing all right on power, really. But yeah, you want a combination of things, Jeff. You don't just want like one one source of power. Those those days have gone, sadly. Um, let's just do this. You used to be able to just do ridiculous uh, natural gas builds back in the day, but they've kind of changed that a little bit now. Um, so yeah, you just want a blend of all sorts. All right, Wocket's coming back. Let's open this bastard. It is my steamy boy that's coming back, isn't it? Yeah, steamy nudger. Let's get this one opened, get our rocket in. Bronze 5, there'll be more launches shortly, mate. Don't worry, don't worry. I've got you covered. You don't want a dragon sneezing on you, it would be the very de definition of getting a heartburn. As in literally searing the meat of your bones. Yes, there's nothing worse. And not only that, you forget about all the snot as well. The thing with dragons... They've got very hot snot. You don't want any of that either. People always say it's just about the fire. It's not just about the fire. It's also about the snot. Huh. It'll be interesting to see how these change when it's about to land. I hope this doesn't cock something up. Knowing you guys, that was probably the abort sequence that I've just hooked up and I didn't even realise. My rocket's just going to blow up in orbit. Can you clean the CO2 from the bottom of the map? Uh, I'm actually feeding mine to my Slickster's D-King, but you can do. You can you can use algae terrariums if you want. You can feed it to Slickster's like I'm doing. You can put some carbon skimmers down there and use it to make dirty water. You can do a lot with it, really. Boop. Hooray. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's just get rid of some of these things. We've still got quite a lot of eggshell to be working through, which is cool. Um, so how are we doing for... How are we doing for tungsten? 2,400. We'll make a bit more tungsten yet, and then we'll get on making more steel. So the next, the, the first time our petroleum rocket comes back, which is in like one cycle, we should hopefully get quite a big bump in uh, research all being well. So I'd like to get all this shit swept before he comes back. Otherwise it's going to get even toastier. Mm -mm. Uh, you plan on making a hydrogen rocket as well? Yeah, totally. We're, we're going to do all the rocketry stuff. That's what I want to do. Could you explain why she is the dragon? She just is Riku's. I can't explain it. Some things are just... They just are. And she is. So, she's just the dragon. Or Dargon. Or Lady Dargon, if you want to address her formally. Um, what do you think is important when choosing starting dupes? Really good researcher. Really good... Minor person, really good builder person. That's what I normally go for. Strength. Strength is always an attribute that you want to get as well. Mm. But other than that, it's personal preference, really. I like having a good minor person so I can not worry about granite and abyssalite too, too, uh, for too long. And uh, definitely a good researcher. Can a dupe burn even if they're in an exosuit? If you put them in lava or something, yeah. Yeah, they can. Or if you land a rocket on their head, they probably wouldn't like that either. They probably wouldn't like rocket to the face either, I would imagine. I'm only guessing because I've never actually done it, but I don't think they'd like it. Where are you taking that regolith? Why are you not bringing it here? Delivering where? She's taking that regolith to the base. Why would why she do this? What priority is this? It's five. Whatever. Whatever. Um just sorry, I did finish this, didn't I? Yeah, this is all done. That's fine. They've got digging stuff to be doing down here as well. So I think we're we're back to like priority seven tasks now, which is cool. Just got a little bit of sweeping that I want them to crack on with immediately. Um and our rocket's just fueling up again. This one's coming back imminently. Uh although our rocket isn't actually fueling up. Let's just get rid of this. 
Ooh, all this steam going away is really laggy. Hmm. Would be nice if there's a way of containing all this without without it dispersing so much, but be a bastard to try and vacuum this big chamber out. You know, like if I had a load of pumps put in here or something and drywalled it all. It's a lot of steam to try and move. For not much reward as well. Why CO2 has not gone in space? Because I'm using jetpacks. And the problem with jetpacks is they're constantly tooting out little puffs of carbon dioxide. Uh, so if we watch this guy, you see how there's little carbon dioxide coming out of here? It can't vacuum quickly enough, if you like. Uh, let's hold on. 0.6 cycles, 90%. Right, we'll leave it a little bit longer. They're constantly giving it the tooties. If a rocket cannot take off, what happened? Uh, it normally tells you if you mouse over the uh, command module, command capsule, podule I just said. If you mouse over the command capsule, it gives you the things that's that's wrong with it up here. It's so like now mine doesn't have an astronaut because I've not enabled my gantry. Um, so an astronaut can't get to it. Um, and also I've not selected a destination from the star map. Why is that dupe so damaged? I uh, don't know, they probably scalded themselves or something at some point. I'll do a dupe health check in a minute. Do you need all bunker doors up top or would bunker tiles be okay for most of the top? Bunker tiles are absolutely fine. Bunker tiles are actually cheaper to do along the top. I was talking to Mex about this last night. Um, bunker doors are only good if you want to drop everything down and collect all the resources. But uh, bunker tiles would be absolutely fine if you just want to seal off space and not worry about it ever. Uh, there's no, no problem with that at all. Can a rocket explode for some reason? I don't think so, Frankie. I think they just destroy stuff if you don't open your doors in time and stuff like that. Now, this is where I'm slightly worried, right? So when this rocket comes back down, it's going to coat all of this with really hot gas. And this is when I think this might get melted. So we'll have to see how hot it gets. Bastard. All right. Let's do a bit of quick digging. We might toast a couple of our dupes here. Let's see if we can get rid of this stuff quickly. And get this stuff swept as well. And this stuff, and this stuff, and this stuff. Uh, my pipe's being derpy. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. This is all going to get very toasty. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm just going to close this off for a minute so my dupes don't go in there. You made a new rocket without telling me? Ah, this was the whole point of tonight. We're making petrol rockets. We've done we've done a lot with the Steam Boy now. The Steam Boy has been glorious. He's done great for us. He's helped us a lot with research. But now it's time of the petrol boy. And then soon, soon the hydrogen boy. That's the plan. That is the plan. Alright. Space Dangus 2.0. Right, let's just have a look at the temperatures and stuff. Oh. It's a warm boy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Two. Ah. Good evening, Claire. Claire. Tonight, this crush report is brought to you by Mighty Danks. The petrol. It seems, it seems upon re-entry, hyphenated, re-entry, I think it is, um, our fearless wocket done got toasty hot and gone exploded in the game. Anywho, 
hope you guys are all warm in this cold weather. How's, how's the love life? Are you courting? Is it, is it that nice man from down the water cooler? I hear he's very handsome. Speak soon, probably. Steam Boy to Petro Boy 2.0. Yeah. Petro Boy. Rip. Uh, son of a bitch. Uh, take back everything I said about you potentially being a good test engineer. Oh, come on. That wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault at all. All right. I'm going to boot up again. Jalabear, I, I, I normally write them. Um, that's normally how I write my crash reports to Clay. I normally ask about their love life, how everything is, how's their nan, <laughs> things like that, you know. Ah, uh, Jesus. So I guess rockets can explode. Yeah, the game exploded, not the rocket. Ah, uh, Christ. Eh, whatever. It is what it is. These things happen. Early access, everyone. Early access. I wonder if it sends your Steam name with it. Eh. I normally sign it life, so I don't need to guess. Oh, Christ. And it sends my, my uh, save game as well, so when they see it, they'll know who it is. Whatever. Whatever. Ah, oh, Christ. Listen, if it gives some, some dev a little giggle, then that's all that matters. Well, it's a good job we saved. When did we last, when did we last save? On the cycle. So it should be coming in now, I think. Yeah, I hope this doesn't happen again. <sighs> Excuse me. Right. Let's just load the game in slow for a minute. Do you reckon it was something to do with our automation? <gasps> oh, I wonder if it was anything to do with the automation wires we left there. You forgot the usual sexual innuendo. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't up to par there. Alright, so he should literally be here now. I wonder what caused that. Uh, Hardcore, thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, he's coming in. Everything's fine. Nothing's too toasty. A little bit of heat. Hmm. Oh, BD Rest, thank you very much for the follow, bud. Thank you. Uh, a little bit of heat. Just a smidgen. Just fuck. Just a lot of heat. Alright. So we got loads of research. Oh yeah, look at all the research we got, guys. Holy balls. Right. Got plenty of research. Didn't get any cargo. Oh no, we did! Oh, guys, look! We got iron, copper, obsidian, niobium, and fullerene. Very small amounts, but we got some. And bearing in mind, this was a this was a research operation more than anything. So I think, although you meant to do this with um, sweepers, I think I can empty this with dupes. I think. So we didn't get very much. Tiny amounts of fullerene. Tiny amounts of niobium. Um, check signal now. Mmm. 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 What are those elements? Uh, those elements are some of the new materials that you, you have to make with a, or you craft rather, in a molecular forge, I believe. I've not actually done any playing with them yet. Um, where is it? Refinement? We need to make some of these boys. These big, domey, derpy-looking things. 
but I don't know where we're going to set them up yet. We probably won't do them just now. Um, for now, I want to literally fuel this up again. Oh, God, what are you doing, Gossman? You must leave. Get out of here. It's too hot. Uh, what I want to do is um, go to some more planets. So let's have a look now at our star map. So whereas before we couldn't see what these things were, now we know that we get Niobium and Fullerene here. And we can also get smooth hatches, which we knew about. So there is a trace amount of fullerene, which is why we got like 2,000 grams of it. So obviously that's not a place to farm that. But this this same rocket, if we tweak the setup a little bit and remove one of our research modules, put in another fuel tank, we can go to these, no problem. So what I'm going to do, let's just jump back on the browser for a second. Uh, make sure I'm on the right screen. Uh, let's have a look here. So here's the browser for the rocket builder -y doodah. And I think what I'm going to do is knock one of these modules out and put some more fuel in. Like so. So if we went up to 1800, we can now go 44,000 meters if we wanted to. Uh, which we don't really need to. We probably just want to go like 30 odd. Yeah. So if we said... Um, just to be safe. Let's say we're going to go 34,000, because I can't get the oxalite exactly right. So that would be 1,300 of that. So what we'll need to do, we'll need to remove one of these one of these boys and move this cargo bay. So we'll just let some of this... Um, hold on. Sorry, pressed the wrong thing. Um, <clears throat> so what we'll need to do is remove this cargo bay, remove one of these. We'll put a liquid tank here and then a cargo bay above. Um, so I'm just going to let this carbon dioxide disappear a little bit and then we'll change this up a little bit i still want to keep at least five modules on here five of the research modules uh it's also going to probably be uh yeah it's a big boy it's going to be a big boy fuck's sake how much niobium or oh, rather it doesn't matter if you can multiply it as much as you like by sacrificing a bit of tungsten jesus turn us um we got 31.9 kilos Oh, you can just empty storage. Ah, oh, fucking done. Right, let's get you deconstructed. Uh, oh, why is all my oxalite still in here? All my oxalite still inside. Is that a bug? I don't know. I need to deconstruct this. And I need to move move it up one. I'll have my other liquid tank here. What do you need to put in the fuel tanks? In these ones, this is a petroleum engine. So I've got to put petroleum, liquid petroleum in. And then you can either put liquid oxygen or oxalite. I've been using oxalite, but I'm just con confused at the minute. Yeah, we'll just let this cool down a little bit before our tubes get in there. So I don't think they can get access at the minute, or can they? Hold on, where are you going? Oh yeah, of course you can get access. Let's shut this shit up quickly. No, no, no. No, no, no. Alright, well at least they didn't crash this time on re-entry. I don't know what that was all about. Uh, but now what we'll do, we'll go to one of these other places. So we know what's here. Alright, we can get some of this Neobium. Neobium. Um, and there's 3% here. But we've done all the missions here now. We've studied the subsurface. We've done all this shit. So we'll now go to one of these. So we only need to get to 30 kilometers. Um, I'm tempted to go here with our cargo base. See if we can get some steel. I might go here first. Um, and this one's steel as well. Ah, oh, yeah. We'll ignore this jerk for a bit. We'll go to one of these. I'm gonna. I'm just going to leave Steamy Nudger Boy for a bit. And we're just going to focus on the petroleum one now. So let's get things going. And again, now this has cooled down a little bit, let's get our tubes back in. Nice. That went pretty well. I like that. Um, yeah, I've not played much with the refining and materials turners. I've never built the molecular forge. I don't really know how it works. Honestly, they should integrate this calculator into the game itself. Maybe I'll build that as a mod if I can. I'm sure somebody's already working on it, BD. I'm sure they are. Um... <clears throat> what exactly does solid fuel thruster? Because on this site, if you add it, it only reduces the distance. I don't really know, Jalabert. Is that the one that takes iron and coal? No idea, mate. 
No idea. I want to see if my Oxylite comes out of this. It didn't use my Oxylite. It didn't use my Oxylite up, which is interesting. Um, so you need to be another liquid fuel tank. And then you need to be an oxidizer tank, but we can't build you yet. And then you need to be removed. And then that'll still leave us with five. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be fine. Take it easy, too fat. Thank you for po popping in, buddy. It is much appreciated. We're going to piss away a bit of oxalite here. What are you doing? All right, get this built quickly. We're going to piss away a little bit of oxalite, but it's not the end of the world. And what I'm going to need to do as well is tell this second tank how much liquid I want in there. And I just need to check this thing. Uh, it's 1,300 that I need. So I just need another 400 in here, I think. And that will... Oh, wait. That'll give us way, way more than we need. No, that'll be fine. Yeah. So it's five modules, one cargo bay. Two liquid fuel tanks. The second liquid fuel tank needs 400 in it. Okay. That just needs 400. Um, is it possible to build an auto-sweep system for the space cargo? Probably. Um, it's just very toasty in here at the minute, so I don't think we could get away with steel. I think it would overheat too quickly. Right, so that's now set to 400. Now we need to get our oxylite collected quickly if we can, so that I can see how much more we need to put in. Because we've got too much, collect too much in here. Although, if it's not picked up... Look at all the fucking oxygen we're making. No! Don't do it! Well, let's see if this is smart enough to stop at 400 kilos. Otherwise, it's fucked. Will this stop at 400 kilos? Please tell me it was. Uh... He's telling me this stops at 400 kilos. I don't know how I'm going to put the right amount of oxalite in here now. Ah, oh, nice. So the liquid tanks work well. The oxidizer tanks do not. Okay, that is weird. Um, uh, 5 kilograms of niobium plus 95 kilograms of tungsten equals 100 kilos of thermium. Then you run it through metal refinery to get 100 kilos. Is 100 kilos of niobium. So you can just multiply it. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Uh, so with automation, you can... With automation, you can automate oxalite without deleting it. No, I... Right, here's the... Here's, right, here's the problem. I don't want 2,700 kilos of oxalite being delivered to this rocket. Even if I do it with automation, it will, it will over... It will over supply the rocket. I only want 1300 kilos, right? If I do any more than 1300 kilos, I'm just giving the rocket additional mass. I can't even type 1300 in here. What the fuck, game? I only want 1300 kilos, basically. If I put more than 1300 kilos, I'm adding weight to the rocket, which all that does is reduce how far the rocket can go. Which is upsetting. So let's just see if they will do it. I don't think they will. Can you not know what is on the asteroid before visiting? No, those question marks stay blank until you've um, until you've been there. Even if you use the telescope, you don't get to see what they are. Uh, where's my oxalite? 600 kilos. Bastard. Alright, we'll just have to get as close as we can. Ah, oh, it's annoying. Mm -mm. Did you see my tweet to you about door compressors? Uh, no, I didn't, Lumbo. No. Is that mod icon a life dupe? Um, the, the beard love icon, that's just a beard icon that I did a while ago. Little beardy heart. Beard love. Uh, 
uh, drink some of the oxalate so your rocket loses weight, you know. Are there fossils on asteroids? I don't know, Hardcore. There is there is just steel, though, so if you were t thinking about getting more uh, lime for your steel production, steel exists. So the next place that we're going to go now will hopefully give us a bit of steel. We're only taking one cargo base, so we're not going to get much, but we might get a little bit, you know. Looking for a quick lesson how to automate doors to push deep. Right, okay. This this is a real basic bitch setup, right? So let me just explain how this works. So because I don't want these doors to cycle very often, these aren't done with like an auto sensor. These are done with, with time of day sensors, right? Clock sensors. So what I've basically got here is loads of buffers, just buffers, no knock gates, no filter gates, no nothing. I've got one knock gate in the system, sorry. Now all I want this to do is periodically throughout the day, I want this to open up these doors, okay? Let a load of steam flood in, at which point I want this door to shut and this door to open. All right. These doors are basically inverse from each other. So when this one's shut, this one's open. When this one's open, uh, when this one's open, this one's shut, right? That's done just by a knock gate. And what I've basically got, you might want to take a print screen at this point if you want Lumbo to have a play. Um, I've got a buffer gate up here and just a line of buffer gates each go into a door. So buffer gate one goes to that door, buffer gate two to that door, buffer gate three to that door and so on. When this line gets a signal, these doors will basically cycle. All right, this door will open, so this door at the bottom will shut, and when this door shuts, no steam can get back into the system from down below. All right, any gas that's in here will get spread into this vacuum that we're going to create by opening all the doors, um, at which point it will cycle. Now, I don't know when the next time this comes on will be, be here. I can actually show you this happening. Now this is a this is a lazy man's way of doing it. I don't need to worry about pressure. I don't need to worry about temperature. All I'm doing is cycling some of this steam away. So I'm going to go from 11 kilos of pressure up here. It will be pulled into here and it'll drop the pressure. That's all I want to do. And you can put as many of these time sensors in as you want. So I've got like five on here, right? So the top door opened. The bottom door is now closed. The steam is flooding into here, reducing the amount of steam that's present up here. And then when the signal goes off, which will be now, you see the buffers are all on different times. So the first door will shut, right? Because the first door shut, the bottom door has now opened and that will then push our steam down and out. It's a lazy man's way of doing it, right? And it works beautifully for turbines. So I've now, I'm now down to 10 kilos plus the steam turbine just fired up and pushed some steam. Now this only works on this build with the amount of switches and stuff that I've got because this isn't a constantly running turbine. Right, a constantly running turbine is moving shitloads of steam through constantly. Right, it's moving a lot of steam. So what what I normally do for that is have a much bigger vacuum. Now you can do it different ways. Some people like to do three doors constantly cycling. I don't like those builds because it's constant automation strain going on in your background. And as I mentioned to you before, I'm very conscious of lag in this game. I don't want to I don't want my game to die just because I've got a fucking pump going in my in my steam turbine room. So what I normally do is just make a bigger vacuum space. So if I if I want to draw all this steam away, what I would do if I was doing a constant build, I would have a line of doors here, a line of doors here, and I would just open all of this mass up, all of this space I would make a vacuum. Right? And then basically 50% of the room gets pulled into here. These doors shut, it pumps it out. So you can pump a lot more steam that way. This only had to be a Babby's first compressor setup because it doesn't run constantly. It's only used when the aqua tuners need cooling. So I hope that explains it a little bit more. Show the wiring again. Um, just this is really basic. Some people do much more complicated versions than this, but you just don't need it. This is just buffer gates. Some people like to use filter gates and different shit as well. And, and we've done those in the past. You, you don't need it for such a simple setup. Um, so yeah, there you go. This is how to do it with a, a turbine when you're using a turbine as a cooler anyway. <clears throat> how to get it to constantly cycle. Well, you'll need, you'll need buffers then. That's the thing. You'll need, you'll need buffers and filter gates to toggle it on and off. Oh shit, I've just realised. I've got no access to my ox oxygen tank. My oxylite tank. Mm. Uh, they're going to cook. But yeah, if you have a look on the forums, Lumbo, to be honest, there's loads of people that have done different 
door cycle things on there. There was some guy the other day who's put a new build on saying it doesn't delete any gas, it's the quickest it can possibly be, and so on, so on. There's lots of people trying to reinvent the wheel, but what I'm saying, sometimes you don't need you don't need the smoothest wheel on the joint to get the job done, if that makes sense. Uh, the pressure just has to be more three kilograms on on one side. So with enough steam the pump doesn't have to be huge. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, mm -mm -mm. So does it trigger three times a day? I think it triggers like four or five. There's there's five pumps on here, uh, five time of day sensors. So they're all staggered to different times of the day. So they all come on at a different point. So it's obviously it's just run. It'll run again in in a you know twenty percent of the day. But you could have ten on here. You know you could make it go much more frequently if you needed it. We started with three, and then I think I put two more in just because it wasn't working properly. You, it basically depends what you're doing. But if you've got a constantly running steam turbine, obviously you're going to be moving a lot more steam, so you'll need a build that m moves more stuff, um, basically. But, as ever, I generally don't, don't try and over-engineer unless it's needed. Uh, Fanta Dark Moon, thank you very much for the follow, bud. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, we can get all these done now, can't we? And we'll get these done as well. This is going to be a hot boy when it's finished. But I like it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What about the smoothest grasp on the pole? <laughs> Just had Hunter's Chicken. Nice. Nice. What's the trick to infinite gas water storage? I'm trying, but vents get overpressurized or down. At uh, Hardcore, um... There's a playlist for you, buddy. If you have a look in there, I've got a video all about overpressurizing vents and stuff. Um, it should explain it all for you, mate. Uh, let's just turn this one off. Okay, let's just do that. All right, let's get this oxalite collected. I need to get the right amount of oxalite, which is a bastard. This is all just blurping away into fucking space, which is a huge waste. What I might do, and my tube's already starting to move some. Hmm. Oh shit, have they been sweeping oxalite into here? I bet they fucking have. Oh no, they've not. I need to make sure that doesn't happen though. Um, Consumable or oxalite. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't sweep that up, please. Son of a bitch! Fuck's sake. Oh! Right. This will be fine. As soon as this is filled up again, we can send this rocket again. I'm really anxious to get some more asteroids. <clears throat> In fact, I've just noticed the time, guys. I think what I'm going to do... The lady's asleep next door. She's not feeling well. And I've been playing I've been playing since four this afternoon. So we will be back tomorrow, right? We'll come back tomorrow. We will launch some more rockets tomorrow. Uh, Kevness, thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Um, yeah, guys, let me just save the game for starters. We'll just go to the old end screen. Um, we will be back tomorrow. We'll play some more Oni. We'll launch some more rockets. It's going to be absolutely glorious. But just so you know, for all you new viewers, uh, viewers, viewers um, it's normally a 7 p.m. start, 7 p.m. BST. We start early on a Sunday now, so we start at 4 p.m. on a Sunday. So, as ever, many, many thanks to my lovely, lovely mods. Thank you very much for popping in tonight, everybody that's come and viewed. Um, for the donation, thank you very much, Agent Vixen. That was much appreciated. For the bitties, Wachunga and Nailu, thank you. Uh, for the follows, Kevners, Fanta Dark Moon, BD Res, Hardcore, Dr. Possible, uh, Z80 User, Thumper. Uh, Top Owl Penguin, Ranting Gold Dude, Zeno.exe, Sunrise Shine, Honestly, uh, Nomad, The No Thank You, Uh Oh, Secreto. Thank you very much, guys, for the follows. Uh, for the subs and resubs, Red Gnome, Ezekiel, Thumpers, uh, Hue Hue Hue, uh, Inserno, Z8 to use. Oh, these are the Ramsey gifts, aren't they? Uh, Grimalk and Blur Official. Um, Ramsey, thank you very much for the gifted subs as well. It is really appreciated. Guys, I will be back tomorrow, 7 p.m. BST. If as many of you could be here at 7 p.m. as possible, that would be so appreciated. You don't you don't understand. We are trying to get partner at the minute for those of you that might be new here. 
and we're very close to hitting the average number of viewers that we need to get partner. Um, so the more of you that turn up at the start of the stream, the better. As an incentive, we'll be giving out more fluff and stuff, more of the currency at the start of the stream, and I'll probably even do some giveaways tomorrow as well. Can't say more than that. Yeah. So yeah, thank you very much to everyone that popped in tonight. I hope you have a lovely evening, and I will see you tomorrow, 7pm BST as usual. Um, yeah, have a good night. Take it easy. Bye-bye.